Good morning everyone and thank you for dropping by to watch another one of my videos. Uh, no, it's not a bike riding video. We are going in the shed, so it's welcome back to Johnny Stars ZXR. Oh dear. <laughs> Thought it was going to be another motorbike vlog then, didn't you? No. Uh, this, week, this week's video we're going to be taking the carburetors off the ZXR. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I keep doing that, don't I? I'll have to stop doing that. I'll have to work on that. Okay then, so the fixings on the carburetors are little clamps on the top. Yeah, just like the normal carburetors. Some carburetors have the clamps at the bottom or down the side or on the top. This one's got them on the top, just there. One there, and then so on, and so on, and so on in the next carburetors. But there's uh, two this side, and two the other side. And on my carburetors, there's the air filters, where there's a bolt there, a bolt down here, and all these little grommets. There's bolts inside those as well. So it is very awkward because you have to fish all the way down, there's a big tunnel all the way down to there, to the carburetor. So you have to fish with your spanners or whatever. I think mine are Allen keys. So I have to fish all the way down there to reach the screws. And it's not like there's a tunnel like that sort of thing for you to go in. And the tunnel's continuous all the way through. If you know what I mean. It's not, it's just like that, so when you put your tool in, it can deviate and it takes bloody ages to get these off and on. So, and then we have to get the cables off, which I also ate on this bike, they're very awkward to get undone from underneath and put back in. They're even harder to put back in than they are to get off. So I'll put you on a better angle so you can see the uh, plugs. You have to pull all these rubber plugs out six of them and then there's like I say one on the outside there and another one down here and this filter box goes all the way inside the frame so it is a nightmare if you want to do these carburetors so it's probably best to leave those on if you can which I'm going to try and do just leave them on because it takes hours to get them off and it takes months to get them back on okay so on mine it's just a posi not a posi drive on normal carburetors it's probably a posi drive bolt but on this it's an allen key bolt on mine which is quite handy they just undo number one and then go to number two this is on the left hand side of the bike should do. Now I've got to go around to the right hand side of the bike as you're sitting on it. So let me get all set up again with the camera. So you see the things we have to go through as YouTubers just to get like a bit of uh, professionalism. Oh that's a big word isn't it? It's a big word for me. Professionalism. <laughs> that's if it is a word. Maybe I've made it up. I've made my own word up, professionalism. No, I'm sure it's a word. Let's go around the other side. So hopefully we've got a good setup here where you can see the other clamp. This is on the right hand side of the bike, so I think it's about, I haven't actually got a Allen key, I'm using a star key because I don't have a, this is quite long, Let's see if I can get it in shot. It's quite long, so I can reach to the other sides. 
So I'll just use this because it's uh, available and it works. So just to undo the bolt, like I say, it's probably a 3mm Allen key bolt. Just undo it as far as you do so it don't come out all the way. And then go to the last one. So that's three. One to go. I've got to set up the other shot. I don't think you can see that one though, can you? Down there. I don't think you can see it. Could I have to adjust you? Can you see it there? Where is it? Still don't think you can see it. No, I can't really get a good shot on that, so I can't really line the camera up, so let me use my other camera. Unfortunately, this camera don't have a microphone on it, so I'm going to switch to this camera. No commentary. set up again okay then so before we pull the uh, filter out it is actually easier to move remove the battery on this one on this model so as always first undo your earth this battery is totally dead so it doesn't matter got to get a new battery as well Then do your live. Just put your screws back in for safekeeping. And try and lift your battery out. Is a lot bigger than you think, it's quite heavy. Now we should be able to pull the air filter and the carburetors free all in one lump. There we go. And that is it, carburetors removed. Just remove the uh, vacuum pipe. Sure, if there's a, I think that's it. There's only one backing pipe, and then there's the uh, petrol feed pipe. Get a good piece of rag in case there's any uh, petrol leakage. Go petrol going all over your paint work. I don't know if you can see that, but that's that pipe. Look. Bloody bad. I wonder the bike wasn't running very well. So the next job is to remove the dreaded cables. Okay, so I think that's it set up. There's the screw, the easiest cable to remove. It's the choke cable. Just a posi drive screw on there fixing. Just unscrew that all the way, take it out. Try not to lose it. Just put it back in the hole. Well, actually, 
actually I'll put it back in the hole with the clip but just put it there for a second and the cable just comes out of the slot you can see that there let's take the cable to the top and then pull it through and we should be able to get this thing off that's it put that back on your carburetor because you don't want to lose it put your screw back in just give it a few turns with a screwdriver so it don't fall out when you lose it that'll do so that's the uh, choke cable off out the way if you can see this peg, can you see this peg? <laughs> I had to use that so I could uh, get these wires out of the way because it was in the way of the uh, undoing the clamps on the carburetors. So now we've got, can you see them? 10 mil knots. These are pretty frayed, these cables. Have to have a closer look at them when we get them off. So 10 mil, where are you? So just slacken the locking nuts off with your 10 mil. There's a nut on the bottom as well, but try and leave that alone because then it'll be set right when you put them back on. You know what I mean? And do the other one as well. turn things upside down so let me just try and get set up again so here we are on the cables you can see there's a locking nut on the top and there's a adjusting nut on the bottom so try not to remove not try not to move those sometimes you have to because there's like a t-shaped thing on this bracket holding it on so you can't get it off so you might have to undo it a touch you might just get away with it. That's it. And then you have to try and get this out of the eye. This one is really easy because the eye is just there. So that one's nice and easy. But this one, the eye is right at the bottom where you can't get your fingers in. You know, this is the sort of job where you need two hands and you definitely need little Japanese fingers. So anyway, let's try and look it off there. Easier said than done. I'm going to have to try and undo the other nut on this one because there's no way around it. Now if you have to twist the carburetor so it's like so, try and keep my fingers out of the way and the cable is just in there, and what I tend to do is try and get something thin or just a normal screwdriver or whatever you can find. Let's try and does actually it's quite a lot of uh, tension on that so it does actually hurt your fingers when you're holding it and you can see the cable down there you want to try and line it up on the eye which I can't see because I haven't got my big glasses on This is a job where you need three hands because I need to get something down there to poke it and I need some what else to keep this thing in line. That's it, it's got it, it's got it, I've got it, I know I've got it. Come on. Come on, what? 
yes and that's it that is your carburetors free of the bike and that is a nightmare job so now we can get these onto the bench and uh, have a look inside see how dirty they are or if they're okay or whatever so let me get the bench set up and I'll be back with you off and uh, see what they look like inside they were but the, the few what came out of them was really stale so just undo each four screws on the uh, carburetor bowls carburetors for two years. Yes I think we've got to clean all those up don't you so let's get on with it. to get this on your rubber parts but I've never had any of these swell up because they've got this on will definitely affect the diaphragm so make sure you don't get any of this on the diaphragms paper tissue and clean them out. All nice and clean. So now we can start on the jets and the needle valves and stuff but I know you've seen that a million times so I'll do all that and then I'll come back to you. 
Okay, so I know I just say I'd be cleaning these off the camera, but just to show you how the, the float removes, just in case you don't know, there's a little screw. Just undo the screw. Then your float will just lift out. Be careful not to lose any of the parts, because there is the swing bar. And there is the needle valve. You should put those in your car cleaner. And if you want to remove the float needle seat, there is just a little screw on those as well. It's all pretty self-explanatory when you open them up and you see what's inside. Start arguing when I'm trying to film.
Okay, so that's the cobs all cleaned out and ready to fit back on the bike. That's the carb carburetor cleaned for the ZXR 750H1. Uh, we're getting closer to getting it on the road. Uh, next week we'll probably put them back on the bike and then try and start the bike up. Uh, I think I am going to have to get another tyre because that tyre looks pretty bold on its last legs. So I'll have to put another tyre on it I think. And then we could take it for the MOT. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, tell all your mates about this uh, ZXR Street Fighter, see if they want to subscribe. You know, they might be interested, you never know. And I'll uh, see you next week. See you in another life, brother.